Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ghost Blogging System on COS OS using Big Bear COS OS with the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So Ghost is a blogging platform that is open source, lets you view your site, your posts, your pages, your tags, your members, and you can see different analytics right here. Um, you, can, you can change the themes really easy and your site design. It also has themes and you, it has email newsletters built in too, to where you can use rich media and dynamic cards in your post. Transform those clicks into contacts. Here's the members. So, that's a little bit about Ghost. So, a little bit about Big Bear Cost OS. It's a third party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. And it gives you access to these different apps. So, I did create a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to go over in this video on how to install it too. Um, so you do need cost os 0.4.4 or newer installed in the versions so that's a little bit about big bear cost os so now i'm going to go into the uh apps in big bear cost os there will be a link down in the youtube description to get to this um and then now i'm going to go to ghost and then docker compose so i'm going to name the, uh, the cost os app big bear Go a ghost I'm going to set some services, and then the service underneath the service is called app. And then the image is ghost, and then uh, 5.69.0, uh, and then the all pine image to make it light. Um, so I'm going to restart on failure, so if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if you stop it or anything like that, it will not try to restart. So, um, now the environment variables, um, the database client is MySQL, the database connection is, ho uh, is host is DB, the database connection user is ghost, the database connection password is cost OS, the database connection database is go a ghost, the URL is set like this, but you're going to change this to your IP of cost OS. I'm going to set a volume. So data, app data, app ID, which is a dynamic variable that is gotten from this one of uh, the name, and then co a content. So this is on the host side, and this is on the container side in var lib ghost content. So you can't change the container side, but if you want to, you can change the, the host side. Now ports is two three six eight on the host side, and you cannot change. Oh, you can cha cha change this port. I mean, you can change this port if there's a port conflict. Now on the container side, you cannot change this port. So uh, a dependencies for this is DB. So this depends on uh, the DB to be started right here, and then the X cost OS is describing the environment variables, the volumes, and the ports. So I'm going to set a DB service underneath the services right here. And this will be MySQL. It'll be a uh, version 8. And um, it'll be coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. Just like here, there's no URL before this. So it's, going, okay, it's coming off Docker Hub. Okay, now I'm going to restart on failure. So if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if any other reason, then it will not try to restart. And then now volumes are set. So data, app data, app ID, which is a dynamic variable, and it's gotten from this right here. So, and then MySQL. So this is on the host side, and this is in the container. This is in the container right here. And then var lib MySQL in the container in the host side. And then the environment variables are ghost, ghost, and then cost OS, cost OS. These environment variables should align with these right here. So this container can connect to this DAB to, to store all the content in it. 
So I'm going to set the X cost to OS. It's going to describe the environment variables and the volumes. And then now I'm going to set X cost to OS down here. And this describes the store. So the, the architecture of what the Docker Compose up here supports. And that's AMD64 and ARM64. The main is uh, aligns with this right here, the app, right underneath the uh, services. And then the description for the store, the tagline, the developer, the author of the Docker Compose, the icon to be used, there's no thumbnail, the title, the categories, so this app can be easily found in Big Bear Cost OS, and you know it's coming from Cost, a Big Bear Cost OS. The port map is 2368, and this should align with up here on the host side is 2368. And before install, so this is the little thing that pop, pops up before you install it, and update the URL environment variable to reflect the Cost OS IP address. And up here, right here, is what I'm talking about. So you'll change localhost to your IP address of your Casa OS. So that's a little bit about Docker Compose. So I'm gonna go to Bieber Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description. And I'm gonna go to the App Store right here, the App Store URL. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS and get this installed in the App Store. So I'm gonna go on the Casa OS uh, a dashboard I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to Add Source right here. And then the text input will pop out. You're going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. And then you're going to say Add. And then now you have 105 apps. So we can go over here, and we can go to the category, but it's not available yet. So we're going to refresh the page. And then we're going to have to go back in the App Store, go to Categories again. And then you'll see Big Bear Cost OS. So now we can see all the Big Bear Cost OS apps that are currently available. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to start out on the Cost OS dashboard and we're going to go to that Ghost app in the App Store and we're going to install it. So I'm going to go to the App Store right here and then I'm going to go to search right here, type in Ghost. How, how you know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS is right here. The category says it. And I'm going to go into this and I'm going to say install. It's now installing. So this is download the Docker image in the background. Uh, starting it up with Docker Compose, getting everything ready, and then it should be up and running. Now you can continue in background and wait till it extracts and uh, gets it up. So now it's up and running, so we can look at the container options now. Okay, so I'm going to show the uh, container options. I'm going to go up these vertical dots right here. And then you can open in the web UI. You can set tips. So this is like a notepad. You can go down here, edit it right here. And then you can put something in here. And then you can save. It reloads the container and says Ghost is okay. So you can go back into the tips. You can see it did save now. And you can go into settings right here. And you can change some of these settings down here. And then you can press the save button. You can also change the settings on the MySQL a da a database. And press the save button. You can go over here to terminal logs. And you can uh, ha have a container terminal right here to where you can get in the container. You can also go in the logs and great for debugging. You can exit this and then you can go back to vertical dots. You can check for updates for the current tag it's on. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now we need to go into the uh, vertical dots right here. Go to settings and then scroll down to URL right here. 
we're going to need to change localhost to your IP of your Casa OS. So I'm going to change it there. Then I'm going to press save. Then it's going to reload the container. Okay, now it's good. Ghost is okay. So we know things went through. So I'm going to show the files now of where the volumes are stored. So I'm going to go into files app. And it's really easy in Cos OS to see the files. So I'm going to go into app data. And then Big Bear Ghost. And now you have content, which is the ghost content. Then you have the MySQL. So you can also check mark these. And you can download, copy, cut, delete, cancel. You can also go into each one right here. And then download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, and then share, and then delete. You can also go inside here and see more directories. So that's how to see the files. So now I'm going to go into Ghost now. And I'm going to open it. And you can see your site here. But I want to get to the admin panel. So I'm going to go over to my uh, bar. And I'm going to type in Ghost. And then go to it. And then now you'll be able to sign up. So I'm going to name uh, this Big Bear TV. And then full name. I'm going to just add admin. And then admin at example.com. And then put a password in. Okay, now I'm going to create the account. And now you're all done. You can write your first post. So um, you can go to the dashboard. You can visit the site. You can explore. You can look at all your posts. You can have the filters up here. You can do a new post. You can look at this uh, stats on the members uh, signed up on this post. You can look at the drafts. The scheduled post, the published post, and the pages. So you can create a new page too. And you can go over here and you can set the page URL. There's different options. You can also go here to tags. You can create a new tag. You can do public tags or internal tags. And you can create a tag right here. Put metadata, X card, Facebook card, and co code injection. You can go to... Uh, members right here and you can say add yourself as a member to the t uh, to test and then there you go you're added you can also go up here to new member and you can check the newsletters that they'll get so i'm going to leave it and you can go over here to see what's new your, your profile right here You can also go to Help Center, re Resource and Guides, and sign out. You can go to this cog right here, and you can see more uh, site settings. There's a lot of them. So, staff, uh, this is general, and then um, design and branding, a navigation, announcement bar, a me a membership, I uh, email newsletters down here, and then advanced. So that's a little bit about ghosts and the UI. So I just went over step by step on getting the ghost uh, blogging system up and running on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.